bits and bytes and addresses. We've talked about it all. Now let's actually start moving some data. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's get these bits on their way. Fiber and copper and radio waves, that gets the data moving, but then it has to be handled by some devices. All of these devices, their job, one of their jobs, is to move data, but you want them to do it intelligently. You want them to actually look at the data and somehow make a decision. The most simplistic way for a device to make a decision based on data is the address. So think of your postal service. A letter comes in, where does it go out? What truck does it go on? What uh, letter carrier is going to get it next? That's, that's what networking equipment does at a fundamental level is make those decisions. The first and most simple network equipment that was used is called a hub. A hub is just a little box with a bunch of physical ports in it. When energy comes in, electricity, remember over wire, comes in, that hub would repeat that energy out all the others. Think of being in a crowded room and me saying, hey, Elizabeth. Now there's 30 people in the room that are not named Elizabeth, but there's one that is. She will be like, oh, okay, and everyone else will ignore it. That's what a hub did. The downside of that is that everybody had to listen to me, right? New inventions got made being a switch. Data comes in to this box. A switch actually looks a lot like a hub. It's got a whole bunch of these physical ports, uh, sometimes as small as maybe eight, up to hundreds of ports where you can plug in all these devices. Switches make decisions based on MAC address. Remember the MAC address is the physical address of your devices. So it sees your address. By the way, it'll say, oh, I remember GT is on port number seven. And I need to send that to Sam. His MAC address is SAM, let's pretend. And that's gonna go out port 14. So it memorizes these things and then it will only send it to that port. Access points do the same thing. Wireless access points can do that. So if you're connected wirelessly and you have a friend who's also wireless, it actually may say, oh, I'll take that in via a radio, making waves, and send it out that same radio. Or, oh, that's destined for somebody out my ethernet port, my, uh, you know, my copper port. I'm gonna send that data out that way. Now, there's a lot of times that networking devices don't really know what to do with data. For example, let's say you're trying to send information across the world to a Instagram server located in the United States. When you hit send, that switch local to you or that access point local to you, it doesn't actually know that final destination. It doesn't know the MAC address of the, of the switch or the device, uh, you know, a country away. There's kind of this, uh, default way to just say, if you don't know where it's gonna go, send it here, right? They'll take care of it. The next layer up, remember we've talked about MAC addresses before, switches and access points deal with MAC addresses. IP addresses exist because we can live on multiple networks. I'm, I am, I'm here right now, but I drive my car for a day and I, I go to a different state. I'm connected somewhere differently. I get a different IP address that helps know where, that, that tells people where I'm at. So we have to have, we have devices right now that make decisions based on MAC addresses. And now we have devices that need to make decisions based on IP addresses. So again, same fundamental behavior. Data comes in for an IP address, which of my physical ports, whether it's connected with fiber or copper, doesn't matter, but which of these physical ports can best handle that destination IP address, that's done by something called a router. A router just is that, it routes information. We've also talked about port. There are some devices that will look at the port. Remember, port is kind of like for applications. So maybe where you work, they don't allow you to uh, watch Netflix while at work. So maybe data is trying to come into your network on Netflix so you can watch TV during a break, of course, but maybe it's blocked. 
How is that being done? There are network devices. Their names are called firewalls as a name for them. Uh, although switches and routers can actually do this too. They may say that port is closed. Do not let data in on that port. The understanding I want you to have at this point, there are network devices out there that make decisions on where data goes and, and how fast it can go even and where it can go and where it can't go based on MAC address, IP address, and port. Click subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can get more information on networking. Again, thanks for your time and hope to see you in the next video.